Brought to you by Classic Throwback TV. As I was um, affronting my nasal passages, the judge is looking at me very accusatory-like. <laughs> out of the corner of his beady eyes, <laughs> thinking that I, mother, am up to something. How dare you? I didn't say a word, and if I were you, I'd leave that alone. You saw me leave the bathroom. You presumed I went in the other room. Yeah, you Last know, time I saw you, you get here. up from the chair, go to the bathroom, come back cleaning your nasal passage. Last time now, you were I'm here, from, you're right. That means you went out there to get high and came back to the nasal And passages. the last time you were what? here, I was eating incredible amounts of food, right? And you Absolutely. were checking my well, fingers Absolutely. to see if I was smoking weed and having the munchies. Yeah. Oh. And that's terrible. And, and you know what? Because just like folks don't like to, uh, mm. they, they, they don't want to let me <clears throat> out of the streets. Yes. And that's probably what fuels some of that nonsense about me is because right. folks still see me back in the streets. I won't let you live down your past. Isn't that terrible? I'm as guilty as anyone else. I plead guilty. I'm on the mercy of the court. Sentence me, but I don't do handcuffs. Okay, let me just talk a little bit about your book and then we're going to get into the rest of your mess because I'm not going to let you live this down because unlike you, my people know exactly where I stand on what I do and how I've handled it. So, we're going to get back to you, Judge. Uh -huh. His new book is called Inner City Miracle. And in the book, Judge Greg Mathis, one of my, uh, you are my favorite judge on TV. Mm -hmm. Although, Marilyn Million, I have to say. In people's Court. She's doing a good job. Love isn't her. She? Mm -hmm. Love her. She's doing a good job. But you, Judge. You reign supreme. Thank you, so, anyway, why uh, the lore of the guns and the drugs in the streets? In the book, you'll also find out about his life in jail and then out of jail, how he attained a GED, how he was blocked from the bar. Uh, basically, a story of triumph and, and over tragedy. Yep. Yep, and, 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 and that's what I do, and uh, um, the fact is, I, I wrote that book not because I wanted to go and reveal mm -hmm. all my skeletons. The fact is, I never... I do. Well, I didn't. I never mm. wanted people to know about my background, and it wasn't until 1995 when I ran for judge okay. that my opponents dug up my criminal background. Okay. Up until that point, I had worked in politics, had become a lawyer, had worked for the mayor of Detroit, had worked with Reverend Jackson, Reverend yes. Jesse Jackson, who had mentored me in politics, yes. had did all that, and no one other than a couple of folks had known I was a thug as a kid. So when I ran for judge, you know the nature of politics, as I call it. Yes. They dug up my background and gave it to the media in an attempt to destroy my career. And what man thought would destroy me, God used it to lift me up and make me the youngest judge in Michigan. And that's why I'm so protective of my image and anybody who tries to touch that. You know, yesterday I was on uh, 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 the, the uh, uh, Caroline Ray show. This is the woman that replaced Rosie O'Donnell. I know about that right. show. They I asked me to be a street correspondent, but I chose to hold that for this glorious VH1 thing that I'm doing right here in the studio. Very good. All right, but so to be on the Wendy Williams so, show. So, so let me tell you, let me let me let me tell you how folks want to keep me in the street. Let me tell you how they want to keep me in the street. We are interviewing about my book. Suddenly she asks, she said, "Where's the cards? Where are the three cards?" And they bring out three cards. I said, "What you want me to do with that?" He said, we heard you play three-card Molly. We heard you played that with your wife, and you, we want you to flip three-card Molly. What's wrong and with that, Judge? a stack of money, because I'm not a three-card Molly flipper. Okay. I am a judge who've overcome all of that. Yeah, but so you don't, don't try to send me back to the hood but, and, and have me representing that. I want to represent excellence. I want to represent commitment to overcoming the obstacles in the hood. She but put the out a stack of money. Okay. She put out a stack of money and put money down. Okay. I said, no, we can't gamble on television. Okay. I'm a oh, judge. Okay, okay, we okay. can't gamble, period. Okay. It's against the law okay. unless we're at a casino. Okay. So one, she's taking me back to the street, showing her audience mm -hmm. that I was three, still knew how to, what she presumed, I still knew how to throw and flip the money. Okay. Secondly, she's going to have me gamble, break the law on television. Okay. A judge, yeah. a distinguished judge, mm -hmm. by the way, I feel. Yes. And, and lastly, and lastly, uh, 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 what happened was when she picked the red card, I showed her. I said, you know more about the streets than me now. I'm yes. out the streets. 
movies yes. and you in it. Because she was right and I was wrong with the three card monster. If I had some cards, I would ask you to do that too. I don't feel as if there's anything wrong with that, Judge. No, let me you know out why. The streets. Well, let, look, the I want to talk with you because here on this show, whether it's TV or radio, one thing that Wendy Williams does is keep it real with her audience. Now, my audience knows all about me and what I've been through. And mm -hmm. what they don't know, I go into explicit details mm -hmm. in my book. Mm -hmm. Now, that might not be true, according to you, oh, about yes. this woman that you, that allegedly you, you slept with, Wendy. you allegedly Wendy, got her pregnant. Her. Uh, listen to, the, just pregnant. let me draw up the skeleton, Judge, part. and then you fill part. in the meat. Wendy, I didn't read that part. Now let, you making that up. Okay, let me draw up. Now you up. and WBLS about to be sued for defamation. You gonna make some stuff Okay, up Judge, here. you it are. It wasn't even alleged. Okay. Now that's court. called defamation. All right. All right. That's called defamation, Wendy. Okay. She did not allege that. All right, look. I'll tell you what she alleged. It wasn't that. All right, you tell me what she alleged, she alleged Judge, in all of your she anger. She, I'm not angry Yes, now. you are. She yes, you are. She, I'm not angry. Okay. She okay. said that she had had an encounter with me where so I was getting the, high. Doing and cocaine. That, and, yeah, doing Brought cocaine. Brought to you by you've been addicted Classic to. Throwback TV. Still addicted to based on your nasal passages and all these days you're missing at work. <laughs> and going okay. in and out of the bathroom right while I'm here okay. in the studio. As I told you, I've never used New York cocaine City, in are my you following life. me? Listen, I've never used cocaine in my life. Okay, well, never okay, in my life. Tell me what else she alleged, so Judge. She also alleged uh, uh, um, that that I asked her to sleep with my wife. Yes, she yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right, and so, and, and if you want to believe that ridiculous I, nonsense, you feel free to. I, but and you want to keep fueling it when I'm no not, one else has even asked me about well, it. Nobody else anyone, keeps it real like Everyone this. in the media knows that tabloids print trash, but every week that they pay people to come up with you or anyone in this studio to go to a tabloid is, and tell them I want to sell you a story on someone, and they'll buy it. Right, and if that's the type of stuff that you fuel. On your show, and part feel of free too. Part, but, but I don't know what judge, else you want me to tell judge, you. I also got. It, I didn't do it. I also and got. I have it nothing from a, to do with I, it. Listen. And I don't know the woman. Never met her. Never used cocaine. Now let's talk about fueling your stuff. You. On the other hand, have admitted to being addicted to cocaine. Absolutely. Secondly, you continue to show symptoms of your addiction. Okay. Lastly, what are those symptoms? Tell me. These nasal passages you keep uh, yes. coughing up. And I did Secondly, aphrin. And I did you, aphrin. This eternal cold that you continue to have. Yes. Oh, that yes. you can't have to come to work because every other okay. week now you're even stupid so low as to blame it on your baby, your newborn. How oh, low can you get? Gosh. That's about as low as you can get to blame your child oh, for your cocaine gosh. addiction. Then, lastly, yes, lastly, judge. your bisexual activity. I'm oh, sure your no, uh, audience want to know about that. I'm I've heard that rumor. I'm sure and my finally, husband would love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he watches? Does he watch when you do it? Yes, don't wow. you know? No, I don't know. I didn't know you were that low down. And lastly, lastly, we can continue with what I heard about all those abortions. Like eight? You had eight wow, abortions? Judge. That's what I heard. That's the rumor. How now, you want to keep fueling that? Do you, did you write about that in your book? I wrote about abortion oh, in my book. Okay. Yes. All eight of them? Yes. I wrote, eight? Ooh, I have an abortion. Goodness. Unlike you, Judge, I'll be worst. smarter about my book. I don't reveal continue. everything for all free. Your sponsors continue People must to, buy my book to get the information that they need to get. continue to finance this radio show knowing that you had eight abortions, a cocaine addict, and a bisexual. Sponsors continue to put up money for this show. You know what, Judge? Hey, you are protesting. watch out for the anti-abortion crowd. I can tell you that. Let me just you say this. watch out for them. The you better say something to them. Don't let, explain to no, me. Let, let me say <laughs> you something. You ain't no trial with me. That's let, who you're going to be Let me say, no say something with. to you and yeah. to everybody listening. Go right ahead. See, you, 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 you are you thought, the... You thought you were going to get me on here no, and hijack no, no, no. me. You but are you the, the Tyson Beckford. You got the wrong person, Don. You are the Tyson Beckford of the protest. I'm not, yes, somebody uh, soft, I'm not some of these soft guys you didn't had on here that you think you could talk anything to. I, I come from the hardest streets of America. And if you think you're going to send me back to the streets fueling these nonsensical rumors that come out of the I'm not tabloid, fueling anything, but I'm just about listening. the other tabloid article where I'm supposed to have beaten up the Reverend. Uh, me and Reverend Jackson jumped on a preacher in L.A. You didn't see that? No. You were just too fixated on drugs and sex to discuss oh, that. Is that no. your problem? I didn't you got see a real that 
women. fixation with drugs and sex, and well, that's all you talk about from what I understand on us, your show. And now we know that why you had all those eight abortions. Okay. I'm in a courtroom right now. I'm My God, court. do you have any spirituality in you at all? Tell, tell you need to about, go to church. What church do you go tell to? Us about Does this. you need God in your life? Tell, tell us about the beatdown, And Josh. I'm not mad. Anyone that knows my show know that I don't take any disrespect or I don't let anybody say here. anything they want to me without me checking the real strong and real tough. Come and down. that's what you're getting today, Wendy. You're getting a real good checking. All right? Which is what you need. And quite frankly, it's overdue. You get Phil folks on your show and you just think you can talk and say anything you want to. Well, that's what I do on my show. And my show has higher ratings than yours. So I'm trumping you today. Very interesting part of trumping you today. No, you're not trumping me, Judge. And you going to have to listen. You're actually not trumping anything. What me and my audience talk about, on we talk about on a regular basis. And it's actually very good. Comical to me, <laughs> all of the all of the protesting you're doing. It's almost like you know that saying, "Thou dost protest too much." Being checked. You understand me clearly. This is called Keep when you think that you can just treat people unfairly and say what you want. I am not saying what I want to you. I, I I simply asked no, no, you no, about no. this Let woman, you what you've done. and you immediately no, no, no. jumped you tried to, spit. to the, no, no, no. the highest I tell you of what protestivity. I tell you what about I immediately did. Something. No, no, no. no. WBLS New I York. immediately told Shh. you that it was untrue, and I told you that it was tabloid trash, which all public <laughs> figures <laughs> have to. Do it. Right. I, and then you continue to want to talk about it for 10 more minutes. And I informed you that you were fueling rumors by continuing to talk about it. No, because I wanted to damaging ask. damaging my reputation. No, and no, I'm no. not going to let you do that. I just when you try to do that, you're going to get checked every time you do it. Are you clear on relax, that? Or do I have relax. to continue checking you over and over? Because I will. As long as I'm here and as long as you get out of order, I will check you. So, yeah. So you don't know this woman. There you go again. Are you still getting high? Because I just saw you leave the hey, bathroom God, looking like last. you were getting high. In fact, you got white powder around your nose right I now. Do. Yes, you I do. Mean, Ask yeah, your yeah, colleagues. Yeah, okay, can you we bring a close her up? Nose. Doesn't it look like can she got white bring powder a close it's a beautiful around nose. her nose? The VH1 camera. You got powder around your nose. Let's take a look. It looks like it to me. It looks like you got white powder to me around your nose. I don't know whether... You still a dope fiend? I need to check you in the rehab and pray for you. Well... You need help, sweetie. Let's all so get along. Turn to Christ. Can okay. I save you? All right. Where um, should you go to? Where am I taking cards at? You picked the wrong one this time, Wendy. That's all. No, I think I picked yeah. the right one, baby. <laughs> That's right. You I want to build your think up on me. This is like this is like, like up on a real absolutely star. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look, after this is over, yeah. you and I still cool. I kiss you now. We cool now. No, 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 now no, I don't no, cheat no. on my husband. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, That's you, right. you, you know. screw other women in front of him. Oh. That's what you admitted to a minute ago. Remember, you just said he watches while you screw no. women. Isn't no. that what you said on the air? Your listeners heard you. You want to deny it now? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. It's tough, isn't it? Artie, it's tough dealing with a real one. Can you please one just... you're used to dealing with fakes. Okay. It's tough dealing with a real one. I just need somebody to weigh in on this. <laughs> Artie, yes. weigh in on exactly what, what is going on here. Because you're here every day. You know how I deal with my listeners. Mm -hmm. And, you know, can we take phone calls? Let's take some phone calls. Absolutely. Okay. Let's take phone calls. Mm -hmm. We'll take them right now. Yes, sir. And damn it, nobody curse. We need phone calls right now. Judge, you need to have head oh, you have headphones on. Okay. Hi, BLS, you're on the air. Hello? Is this the day the Hello? 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 Hi. She needs Hi. your help. She you're needs on. your help. Wendy needs your help. I got you, Wendy, I got you. No, turn your radio down. You're on the radio with uh me and the Judge Mathis. Oh, okay. All right. Turn, uh, next. Lolo, the we're the super people, super friends. She needs your help. Fan she needs out. your help. Hi, Hi. BLS. Hello. Hi. Is this Wendy? Yeah. Hey, Wendy. This is uh, Valerie calling from the Bronx. Hi, Valerie. Hi. First time I get through to you. How you doing? <laughs> good, good. 
Um, I'm listening to your interview with um, Doug Mathis. Yeah. What's up with him? He's going off on you. That's right. I sure am because she's spurring untrue rumors trying to damage my reputation. I am not and spurring them. We're just spelling yes, them. No, no, no. You've tried you. to talk about it for 20 minutes. No, which, yes, you have. We're trying to dispel them. And you did them. with Chris Rock for two hours. Thought I wasn't going to hear about it, and I did. So I couldn't wait to Doug get here to check you to your you face. Sweetie, this is what I do on television every day, and thank you for that watching. Is true. That is true. That's what I do. So I, I'm real. I, I am who I am. And Wendy, I'm yes, with you. I you haven't television. been able to come back on him. <laughs> no, she can't. You know what? <laughs> Judge me, she, she too high. Because I, she, I am absolutely, I am absolutely. She too high. That's why she can't, sweetie. Look, brought to you by thanks, Val. Classic Throwback TV. Judge, yeah. And the, this is this is going to be my 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 yeah. I think final comment on this one here because I have to do a book signing. There's a woman who's alleged that you have an affair with her. She's a younger woman. She's about 24. Story. She's got a big behind, long two-inch nails, uh -huh. and she apparently went to sell her story someplace. All uh -huh. I'm asking you is, did you know the woman? I told you. That. You How said you didn't know her. Right. You said you, you've never smoked never. coke or done never. coke. But the, but the way that you're reacting, you have to understand, uh -huh. denial. is is denial. The, the way that I'm acting is a person who knows that their reputation was defamed by you for two hours with Chris Rock behind my back based on trash tabloids. We the way that I'm acting is that I came here today you for and two then hours, you tried Josh. to talk about it for 20 minutes after I dispelled it to you in 30 seconds. I've worked long and hard to overcome the streets did, of Detroit. I, did, I, did, I, did, I, did, I did, went from did, jail did, to the 15 to, to in 15 years to the youngest judge in America right. and I'll be damned if I'm going to let you or anybody else defame my reputation. Uh, Mountaintop. We back to the BET Awards with and gators and, and, and all like and that. Continuing to fuel rumors that are untrue. That's why I'm checking you and anybody else to do it. Where and this nut over here that keeps making noise while I'm talking, <laughs> I'm gonna get on him in a minute. Where you? Where this you? little hood with his pants down below his butt, like he got no respect why for himself. Showing judge? his nasty drawers that he ain't even oh, watched. Don't nobody want to see that. And he must don't know oh, that that's what they were in prison. I know because I've been there. Oh. And the people who wear in prison out of out of homosexuals you wanna who know? wanna be someone's wife. Let me and ask if that's this. what he wants to be, I get him a husband. Were you backstage? Were you backstage? Were you backstage at the BET Awards? I want you to judge how you do it. The loafers. I want you, baby. Were you backstage at the BET Awards? Anybody else want to get checked? Flirting with the young girl. I'm checking everybody here. Were you backstage at the BET Awards? The only person I was flirting with at my wife, and she was at my side every second. What woman did you hear I was supposed to be flirting with. I just BET heard you were back there taking pictures and being charming. Taking pictures and being charming. Yeah. And for that, you call me flirting. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Part you see your... why I'm checking you? Because you just said what check, you heard check, check was that I was backstage being nice and t being charming and taking pictures. Well, and for I that, actually... you said you heard I, I was I flirting. It was actually two different things. It was actually a little again, more. Once uh, again, once again, once again, you are trying to fuel again. things that hurt my reputation. I don't know why. Are you jealous? I hope your VH1 show takes off, but don't hate on me until it does. Hopefully you'll get on television. You keep trying. This pilot I'm giving you today, it might be the one that sells your show and gets you on television. Then you don't have to hate on me no more, Wendy. Then judge, you don't have to judge, try to fuel judge these, these, nobody's uh, these hating outrageous on you. allegations. Nobody's hating doing, on you. Can you call fueling me, Judge? Outrageous allegations. And so that's why I have to check you every step of the way. The very interesting thing know, is that we've had people dispel rumors in that. much more calm ways right. than the judge. And I'm so me. shocked because the judge is, is more mature. And I just thought you would you have a me. more mature. You don't look at me. me. Wait, I, I wish you haven't read the book, obviously. I wish that the book is not a read here, judge. I've been busy with my own book telling my own truth, which is something that you don't know me. That's why you can't. You thought I was doing it. concentrating on me. That's why you thought I would be calm. Um, why you continue to defame me and damage my reputation. Okay, but I would oh, never okay. be calm if anybody tries to do that to me. All right. And they will I be mean, checked uh, over and over I and over. 
Just like I'm doing you. And since I can't talk anymore, because your little homosexual girlfriend over here with his pants down, but like he has no respect for himself, keep interrupting. I'm out of here. Thank you. Call me. How you doing? Show, but please, please stop hating on me. It'll be all right. I love you. I love you. Do you need some money? No, I've got my own thing for your cocaine habit. Oh yes, I want to give you money. That's right. Have a good day, sweetie, and take that judge uh, and show over. with you. All right, bye bye. There he goes. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, Judge. Are you, <laughs> Are you gonna call me, Judge? How you doing? And he cursed. He cursed Come here, Judge. Radio? Let's play some Look. cards. Ooh, Homo, yeah, Judge. You, you want to know what you all? You can call it what you want. He was fun. I like him. Yeah, he was fun. Yeah, he was fun. The judge protested way. Way, yes. way, way, way too much. Yes. <laughs> I don't feel like I've been checked in any way, shape, or form. No. I feel like I'm forthright and honest every damn day I come in on this show. Now, anybody who walks away from this show thinking I'm hooked on whatever, I mean, I don't even think we need to go there. You know, because I'm because I got a book to sell, honey, mm -hmm. and uh, it's too bad it's over. But uh, this is the taping of my pilot, so perhaps when the show does roll on VH1, you will be able to see how you, the physical anger, Trevin. I mean, you were only laying on the art. You're a little nutty, Trevin. Step up and you be honest and do not kowtow because someone who doesn't know. Yes. Because of the extent of him protesting, I would think that, well, you might have something to hide. Most yeah. definitely. Yes. Most definitely. And, and me? No. I mean, did, did I just get rolled over? No. Not at all. Because you get a chance to get rolled over. How did you get a word in? Well, she roll over me. Shut up, Art. Oh, oh. You shut up. I'm sorry. Trevin, you're the only sane person in the room. Without question, it was way too much protesting. Okay. All right, look, everybody, uh, we have more guests scheduled for today. What the hell? What time is it? Time for a break. Time for a break. We are so behind schedule. That was so much no fun. No rent. No rent. No rent. <laughs> Wendy Williams, 107.5 WBLS.